for sticking around. Uh, we're going to try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Coach, take a couple of questions from the media, and then open it up. So. Yeah, like Matt said, thanks for being here. This is a really exciting environment and time of year for everybody, so we appreciate your interest and enthusiasm for the program. Uh, re really liked how we created some offense tonight. Obviously, the last goal was, was great, but really liked a lot of the things we did in the IZO and the offensive zone. It's fun to see uh, past and present Purple Eagles come together. We had a bunch of alumni here tonight for this game, and it just goes to show you how special the program is to a lot of people, and we want to continue that as they get connected uh, to us and, and to our group. The culture of our team has really built upon itself. And it's fun to watch the guys compete. It's, they deserve what they got tonight. And uh, they, they played and have trained and have done, made a lot of good choices in their behaviors to get to that point. So fun to see that happen. Uh, I thought defensively, there's some things obviously you want to do a little different. And, and, but in general, we had really good sticks and, and we were hard to play through. And then obviously the special teams, the PK especially, uh, in overtime was, was a big deal. So credit to the guys on the PK and obviously to Brian and that too. So, Coach, in the first, uh, obviously both teams going for three for three on the power play. Was that something you emphasized in between periods after that first intermission, stay out of the box, and um, was, was, that, was that a key in the game going forward? Well, I think this time of year it's always it's always a key when that that comes up, but it's it's situational a little bit too. Sometimes there's good penalties to take and. I thought uh, after the first, yeah, we wanted to stay out of the box for sure. A lot of contributions from a lot of players tonight. What would you say about Ben, two goals, obviously tied the game with 11.9 on yeah. the clock in regulation? Yeah. It's just, it's so cool to watch the evolution of, of him as a person, as him of him as a student and as a player. He's, he's come so far as a person, stands up tall. Our main goal here is to grow men. And he's really turned into a man here. That, that's what we're all about. We're evaluated on the wins and losses, but we're, we're here to create men. He stands up tall. His shoulders are back. He's, he's got confidence. Uh, he's doing great in school. And as a player, he's really made a commitment to let his work come out. He's really skilled. Uh, but now he's working, and it's just fun to watch that transition take place for him. What do you tell the guys? I mean, obviously, they, they know what the situation yeah. is. They're trailing one. Yeah. You pull the goalie with about two and a half minutes left. Yeah, you, you know what, um, for better or worse, we've been in that spot a lot this year, so we got real good practice at it. So uh, we're, we're comfortable and confident in that situation. You guys were scoring from all, all uh, facets of the game, all uh, lines. What can you say about uh, the makeups of your, of your lines? That sort of thing? Yeah, we're pumped. Uh, I think a, real cr a lot of credit goes to the assistant coaches and, and the recruiting that, that's happened. I think the commitment of the, the upperclassmen has been incredible. I think our team choices at the lines were, were really, really good. And then when they, we kind of had a little letdown, they weren't very good. So it, it was fun to see. And that's what I love about our team. We're so creative. And like you said, we can beat you any way you want to play. What did you see on Kendall's game winner? And, and how satisfying was it to see him be the one to score? Yeah, again, he's, he's an electric person. He's got a great smile, uh, loves life. It's fun to see the joy, really working hard as a student. I would even say overachieving as a student because of the type of person he is. And as a player, I'd say he's, Eric Cooley's probably the fastest player in the league. Uh, Justin Kendall's probably second or third. So it's fun to see him use that wide speed. And then he's really made a commitment uh, to himself and to our team that he, he wants to be great and he wants to be elite. And it's fun to see that come out because he gets better every day. Coach, last three games against Canisius, you guys are up 10 goals to nine with the last two games before this being ties. You can take them to double overtime now. Yeah. What's the game plan going into the game two? Obviously, it's a, it's a tight matchup between you two. Yeah, it's it's uh, rest and rest some more and then rest again and get up and eat. And let's go. First game's obviously critical in a best yeah. of three, but to go two overtimes and have to turn around and play tomorrow afternoon, how critical was it to come out of this one with the W given this short turnaround? Yeah, I agree with you. I think it was a big deal, but uh, obviously it doesn't matter. What's important now is tomorrow, but more importantly, what's important now is how our guys take care of themselves. And this, this is the commitment they've made to each other as a group and our culture uh, to be part of a, a movement, not a moment. And they're doing a great job, and I'm sure they'll be ready to go tomorrow.